this is the Terror Drone. Let's do this. Come to daddy. I'm a match for me. <laughs> Hey guys, this is James from Hurricane Studios, welcoming you to Terradrome Rated Legends development vlog number 6. Now it's been a few months since our last vlog and we have quite a bit to share with you since last time. Uh, before we jump in, be sure to follow us on our socials, join our Discord for more monthly development updates on Terradrome Rated Legends. Uh, we post vlogs on the first of the month and periodically we'll post these vlogs as well. Be sure you're up to date with us by following us there. So before we begin, I'm going to be recapping our recent news and major updates. First up, let's cover some of what you may have missed in our last few blogs. We released a new major update featuring our latest fighter, the Wendigo. It's a monstrous beast that towers over the roster. The Wendigo took a lot of time to develop, far exceeding our expectations. However, we do believe the wait was worth it. In this update, we introduced our brand new user interface and menus. We also integrated Epic Games online services to allow for crossplay between Steam and Epic users. We are still in the process of getting the game on the Epic Games Store. We also implemented our earliest form of rollback netcode into the game. Now a quick disclaimer, our online play still requires a bit of work and it is far from perfect. We still see issues from time to time when testing internally, so please bear with us on this regard. We'll be getting a proper online experience in time. So what's new? Well, I'd like to take you on a more detailed tour of our unreleased stages. Each of these stages have finally received their own music tracks, and I will be playing previews of each track as the stage is displayed. First up is the Erase Warehouse. The Erased Warehouse is complete, missing only a few background props that we wish to add at a later time. This stage will act as the home stage of Spring Hill Jack and will release alongside the character. Next is Frankenstein's Sanctuary. Frankenstein's Sanctuary is nearly complete with mostly minor adjustments to be made. This stage will act as Frankenstein's home stage and will be released alongside Spring Hill Jack. Up next is the Greenhouse. Now the Greenhouse is also complete. However, we would like to reserve this stage for the Invisible Man's release as it will act as the character's home stage. Finally, we have Dr. Herbert West's Laboratory. I'm sure this one has intrigued our fans the most. Dr. West's Laboratory is still a work in progress, but we wanted to share with you a better look at the facility. This stage is currently not the home stage of any fighter, similar to Cemetery Crossroads. We believe we would like to have it ready for the Invisible Man's release. The stage is also primarily meant for the story mode of our game. That wraps up our stages for now. Moving on, we have a little preview of our next fighter, Spring Heeled Jack. Looks like it's me and you then. Come on! This wasn't in the plan, but I'll take it. Now we've mentioned that this character has been one of the quickest to develop. His animations are all complete and he is currently playable on our Patreon build of the game for testing. Now we're still working on balancing this character before release and making sure he's free of bugs. And as of right now, we are implementing his sounds, voice, and other audio effects into the game. We believe this character will be a great addition to the roster. Coming off of the horror that was Wendigo, spring Hill Jack brings an acrobatic sci-fi flair to Reign of the Legends, and he is extremely fun to play. We can't wait for you to get your hands on him. So with that all said, we have actually already begun working on the Invisible Man as well. Now here is our official poster reveal of the Invisible Man. Animations for the Invisible Man have begun this past month. We're about a good way through this process right now. The Invisible Man's reactions are mostly complete and attack animations are underway. Basic animations are complete and we're even working on his unleash attacks as we speak. I'll hold off for now, but this character will have a 
unique twist on them that we will explain in greater detail in the future, though I'm sure some of you may have already picked up on the direction we're going here. Finally, we would like to share an update regarding the arcade mode stories. Allow me to share with you a preview of Frankenstein's arcade story. Dr. Victor Frankenstein was tasked with creating the ultimate vampire slayer, an abomination of flesh and machine. The results were beyond satisfactory. Believing its mission was complete, the monster was left without purpose. For centuries it sought isolation, and in time it created its own arctic sanctuary. Adopting the name of its creator, the monster studied human nature, mimicked human arts, yearned to feel, yet the programming remained. Upon discovery of Dracula's empire, the monster reactivated. Its mission would be completed, the eradication of all vampires. Now we still have a lot of work to put into this area of the project but we are excited to finally begin expanding on our characters' backgrounds. Each legend's story will revolve around their own affairs and their own goals within the arcade ladder. An introduction and epilogue will be featured that explains their clash with the other legends and their final duel with Dracula. We would like to clarify again that these stories are separate from our story mode, which will feature its own narrative experience that is the main plot of Reign of the Legends. These arcade stories are essentially their own continuities featuring the legends on their own adventures. So now that about covers all the major news I had to share with you today. We're always working on the game, have a lot of ambitions for the future of this project. We appreciate you all continuing to support us and Terradrome. And until next time, thank you for watching. Alright, subject name... Case number 247302, uh, information on this one is strictly confidential. From my understanding, thirsty, crazy, a whole squad of men, wild animal. Moving on, subject name, case number 452599, which I will curses. I think she name case number seven. Uh, this is a scary one. Like, carrying around that insanely fast assassin. It's no wonder. She